Thank you for watching my videos. In this channel, I will record the scenery through my viewfinder in Japan and around the world. Recently, I had a very happy experience. This photo that appears in this video was featured on Hasselblad's official Instagram and X Twitter accounts. Although it was only as a part of hashtag Hasselblad Viewfinder Challenge campaign, I felt like I was being told by an official I'm watching you, and it made me feel so happy. This time, I'll be shooting with Hasselblad 500cm. The film I used is Lomography's ISO 800. For black and white, Ilford offers ISO 3200 film, but as far as I know, ISO 800 is the highest sensitivity for color negatives. Therefore, when shooting at night, I put the camera on a tripod and use the cable release. The cable release for film cameras has a cable running through a soft pipe like this, and when the button is pressed, a metal shaft comes out from the other end like this. By attaching this to the shutter button, you can release the shutter while minimizing the vibration to the camera. This time, I will take pictures in Shinjuku at night. First, let's hold the camera nearby the pedestrian crossing in front of the south exit, where lots of people are passing by. If you move your viewpoint to the side, you can see a puddle of water still on the ground. I will take another shot from this end. Heading towards the west exit to take a photo of the neon lights at night. The red, yodobashi camera sign always stimulates my desire to take pictures. I want to take a shot when the red neon lights are shining brightly. The red neon lights at the top have disappeared but I felt the silhouette of the pedestrians in the foreground was nice, so I quickly released the shutter. Although it was nighttime, the combination of a tripod and cable release made the image quite sharp. This time, I set up my camera in a slightly back position so that the entire neon light can be seen. Heading toward Omoide Yokocho to capture the atmosphere of the drinking district. On the way, I found an entrance to the underground passage. I felt a good vibe, so I pointed my camera at it. The same town looks very different from day to night. I tried to take a shot from here, where you can see the city of Shinjuku in the distance. The streets of Omoide Yokocho are narrow, so I tried to find a good angle from an open space by the railway tracks to avoid getting in the way of other people. 
I set up my camera to focus on the people enjoying drinking in front of the restaurant. After passing through the street, I turned around and tried to shoot from an angle where I can see the street and the sign of the restaurants. I went through the front of Kabukicho and went out to Gordengai, which is another drinking district. Lots of people are coming and going, attracted by the underground atmosphere. On a different street, there was a place with an impressive red lantern. It was a little dark around the street, so I used a slow shadow speed to take this shot. I would like to take the last one at the shrine. The light is quite limited, so again, I will shoot at a slow shadow speed. Thank you again for watching. I will continue to visit places in Japan and around the world to record the scenery through my viewfinder. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video.